In this video, we're going to have a look at how to simplify thirds. Now, thirds are just special types of irrational numbers, so they can't be written as uh, fractions, and they are written in such a way as to preserve the accuracy of the number. Now, every third will have um, a root component to it, so um, you can think of uh, root 2 or root 5 as examples of thirds, and also something along the lines of 11 root 2 or 6 root 5. These would be examples of thirds as well. Now, to simplify a third, you just have to follow a very simple rule. You have to think of the third, think of the number under the square root, uh, break it down as a product, and one of the numbers of that product has to be a square number. Now, I'll show you what I mean by that by doing a few examples. Now, firstly, uh, root 18. You can think of root 18 as root 9 times 2, because 9 times 2 is 18. And that is the same as root 9 times root 2, which simplifies to 3 root 2, because root 9 is 3. And you always check to see if what you've got is fully simplified by looking at the number under the square root in your final answer and asking yourself, can I break it down any further? Are there any square factors? And in this case, there are not. Okay? Let's have a look at this one. Root 8. Square factors of 8. Remember, square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. We can see that 4 is a square factor of 8, so we'll write it as root 4 times 2, which is the same as root 4 times root 2, and root 4 is 2, so we write that as 2 root 2. Okay? That's our final answer. But root 24? That would be, well, a square factor of 24. Again, you're talking of uh, 4, so it's root 4 times 6, which is the same as root 4 times root 6, and because root 4 is 2, you write it as 2 root 6. And there are no square factors of 6, so that's as we reach the end of the road. And that's our final answer. How about root 27? Well, we know that 9 is a factor of 27, and you can write that as root 9 times 3, root, so that's root 9 times root 3, root 9 is 3, so we write it as 3, root 3. And that's our final answer. Now, there are different ways you can go about answering a question. And sometimes you may well find that there are more than one, that there's more than one square factor within a number. And an example of this is the number 32. And if you're asked to simplify uh, root 32, you can do it... Um, one of two ways. Now, one of the ways is a bit quicker than uh, the other. So let's have a look, first of all, at root 32 by breaking it down as root 4 times 8. Because 4 is a square factor, and we can say, well, that means that it's going to be root 4 times root 8. And root 4 is 2, so we can finish that off as 2 root 8. Now, you can also think of root 32 as root 16 times 2, because 16 is the square factor of 32. So that's root 16 times root 2, and that gives me 4 root 2. So the question is, why am I ending up with two different solutions? Well, the answer is that we haven't actually finished this one, because if you look at the 8 under the square root, you under the square root sign, you can break it down further, because 8 has a square factor. 4 goes into 8. So what we do is we continue to break this down. And we say, well, that's the same as, as 2 times the square root of 8, of 4, sorry, times 2, which is the same as 2 times root 4 times root 2. And root 4 is 2, so it's 2 times 2 times root 2, 2 twos are 4, so your final answer is 4 root 2. Okay, your final answer is 4 root 2. 
Up to this point, it was partially simplified. You've got to follow through by checking that what you end up with at the end cannot be broken down any further. And that's the case here with 4 root 2. Okay. Now, here are a few for you to try yourself. Uh, just pause the video and see how you get on. Simplify them fully and you can see the one at the end there. It's 150 to the power of a half. Okay. So pause the video, check back and see how you got on. Let's have a look at this first one. Square factors of 200, well that's going to be 100 times 2, which is root 100 times root 2. Root 100 is 10, so it's 10 root 2. That's your final answer. For root 72, what are the square factors of 72? Well, uh, 4 goes into it, so we can try that, okay? So we'll say that that can be thought of as the same as the square root of 4 times uh, 18, okay? So that gives me the square root of 4 times the square root of 18, which would be 2 root 18. But if I look at this, there is a square factor within 18, because 9 goes into 18. So we need to continue breaking this down. So if I just do that underneath, we'll say it's the same as 2 times root 9 times root 2, because 9 twos give you 18. Root 9 is 3, so it's 2 times 3 times root 2, and 2 times 3 is 6, so you end up with an answer of 6 root 2. Okay, 6 root 2. Now you could have got to that answer straight away had you noticed that 36 was um, a square factor of 72. So it's always best if you can, if you want to do it quickly, to take, to take out the biggest or the bigger of the square factors if there's a choice to take. Now root 45, straightforward enough, we can take out root 9 and break it down as 9 times 5. So it's the same as root 9 times root 5. Root 9 is 3, so the answer is 3 root 5. Okay. Root 28. Remember square factors 1, 4, uh, 9, 16, 25. Well, 4 goes into 28. So it's square root of 4 times 7, which is root 4 times root 7, which is 2 root 7. And that's your final answer, because you can't break down 7. There are no square factors of 7. Now, the larger the number, in a way, the harder it kind of gets sometimes to pick out a square factor. Now, 180. Well, you know that 9 goes into 18. So 9 goes into 180 as well. So just take anything. It doesn't have to be the largest square factor possible. Just whatever you can see, make a start and break the number down. So 9 times 2 is 18, so 9 times 20 is 180. So that's root 9 times root 20, which will be 3 root 20. Now, I haven't reached the end of the road because there is a square factor within 20. 4 times 5 is 20. So we're going to have to break this down. And we'll say, well, that's the same as 3 times root 4 times root 5, okay? Now, root 4 is 2, so this is 3 times 2 times root 5. 3 twos are 6, so your final simplified uh, answer is 6 root 5. And that's you finished. Now, anything to the power of a half is the same as uh, having the square root of it taken. So this is just the same as the square root of 150. Now, what are the square factors of 150? Well, 25 is certainly 1. 25 times 6 would give you 150. So that's root 25 times root 6. Root 25 is 5, so you put 5 times root 6, which we write as 5 root 6. There are no square factors of 6, so we have reached the end of the road.
So that's how you simplify thirds. Just remember the rule. Look, to write it as a product, whatever's under the square root sign, write that as a product of two numbers, one of which has to be a square number. And the bigger the square number, the better, if you want to get to your final answer as quick as possible. So I hope that was helpful.